Mark Allen, kids stepping up for teachers, but teachers who knew what to do when the tornadoes came. It prompts the question, how do you know your kids will be safe when disaster strikes? News 10's Jacqueline Beavis is in the studio tonight. She spent today finding those answers. She begins our Surviving the Storm Oklahoma Tornado Team coverage. Jacqueline, you have information on how several places stay safe. That's right, Mark. People live and work and go to school in groups. And because of that, procedures practiced ensure everyone knows the plan for natural disasters like the one Oklahoma lived through yesterday. It's the only way to prepare. From the quiet of a hallway in the middle of class time to this. Quickly, you know what to do. Cover guys, it's down. Nice job. Teachers, volunteers, and administration orchestrating quite the feat. Teachers know to um, get their children out into the hallway. As soon as they hear the all call and the announcement, the children go out into the hallways and they immediately get into the tornado safe procedure. In Vigo County Schools, students drill through this process at least twice a year. Thankfully, most of the time, it's just practice. But everyone knows the protocol from empty to full. Kind of like our tornado drill, but it's our tornado procedure. And this is the all important, well known safety position. Um, our students line up in the hallway with their hands behind their neck to protect their necks um, in the crouch down position. In another building with a different group, the goal matches identical. We don't want anybody to panic. We don't want anybody to get worried. It is a stressful thing. It is a stressful time. At this assisted living facility, movement is the largest concern. We are a three story building. We would have to help people come down the stairs because we would rely on an elevator and obviously we wouldn't have that. If they can't make it down, their bathtubs offer an alternative. But if residents make it to this hallway, the next step is getting covered. Get them down here and we get them covered. And if they don't have a pill, we've got pills and blankets uh, uh, in storage as well for that incident. In both locations locally, a strict plan for safety puts everyone at ease when they watch scenes like this. Luckily at home in the valley, these students go back to class. The drill has ended. Did talk with a local hospital as well. Their patients are taken into the hallways to get them away from windows and closer to the interior. Now at the Wabash Valley Correctional Facility, a similar program with drills put inmates in a safe place as well. Mark. Thank you, Jacqueline. 